Today I'm going to be doing a quick swatching session of the Daniel Smith primary set. I had purchased the primary set that came with the watercolor ground, which I'll be playing with later on. Uh, but today I want to focus on the actual paints. Now this is their primary set and it includes a warm red, a cool red, warm yellow, cool yellow, and then warm blue and cool blue. A lot of these colors are ones that I don't have. Um, the Pyro Scarlet is their warm red choice. Quinacridone Rose, which is a color I've been wanting to try, is their cool red choice. New Gamboge, which is a color, or Gamboge, I don't know how to pronounce it. <laughs> I just got this color in M. Graham brand and I love it. So I'm really excited to see the difference between that and the Daniel Smith version. Hansa Yellow Light, now I do use Hansa Yellow Deep in Daniel Smith, but I have not tried the light version, which is supposed to be a great cool yellow alternative to like a lemon yellow. Daniel Smith French Ultramarine. I have never tried a French Ultramarine in Daniel Smith's brand. I do own it in uh, Sennelier, um, which I really like. It's a really vibrant color. But I'm really excited to see the difference between this and the Sennelier because Daniel Smith tends to have um, different qualities definitely than a Sennelier paint. And then finally the Phalo Blue, or Phalo, however you pronounce it. And this is their green shade. And this is a color that I have a love-hate relationship with. Phalo colors, or Phalo colors, however you pronounce it, have not been my friend. But I'm excited to try this and try to make it um, something to add to my palette, possibly. So to go along with this primary challenge, I also purchased this adorable little Meaden palette, and I'll link it down below. I got it from Amazon. It was about $11, I think. And it's this little travel size palette that uses half pants. I've never used a tin palette with half pants like this before. If you saw my portable painter video, that palette is probably the most similar to this with the half pants and being able to remove them. Um, so I'm really excited for this. I know a lot of artists that love these palettes because you can actually take out and switch out these little half pans, which is really nice. And I like to write colors on the sides as well of these. Um, so it'll be quite a jump for me from going from like just my regular well palettes and my aluminum palettes to this. So that'll be fun. But today I just want to test out and swatch these colors. I have a my flat from size 10 flat from Walmart. <laughs> Can't tell you the brand. Um, but I got it at Walmart. And then my lovely CB2 plate, which is my um, ceramic palette. And I'm gonna lay these out in order. So I wanna do the reds first. Okay, that exploded. So that's gonna be a mess. And I think what I want to do is actually even go ahead and take some of these pans out and start filling them because I don't want to waste that paint that just exploded. So that was the Pyro Scarlet. Let me sit him there. And now we have Quinacridone Rose, which may also explode. Oh, not too bad. Just a little dab there. I'm very excited to try this color because um, Quinacridone Rose is a color that I've been wanting to get. It's kind of a color that I've always thought of as more of a add-on color. So it's kind of interesting that Daniel Smith includes that in their primary set. So next we have our new Gamboge. Gamboge? Gamboge? Yellow, which is gorgeous. This is very much like a mustard yellow. It's really nice, really nice color. Ooh, that one exploded, okay. <laughs> This is the Hansa Yellow Light. And this does, is very lemon yellow-esque just by looking at it. I 
All right. Kind of got everywhere, but that's okay. Now we're onto the blues. So the warm blue that they have for this essential primary palette is the French Ultramarine. Um, so I'm, I'm really excited about this color. Ultramarine blue in general, the Ultramarine deep colors and French Ultramarine, they're kind of like go-to blues for me. Very nice, very nice thick, creamy paint. And that's what they have in here as their warm blue. Then we have the phalo or phalo blue, which I have a feeling is going to explode. No, nope, not too bad. And phalo blue or phalo goes a long way. One tiny drop goes a very long way and it's usually very high staining, at least the phalos that I worked with. But I'm not surprised. It's a very popular color to put with a with a primary palette, and that's actually one of the colors I started to learn with. All right, so now we are ready to swatch. So I'm going to start with the Pyro Scarlet. Ooh, that's a really, really nice bold red. Now I think the intention of including that color was to not use a cad red because typically for warm reds, a cadmium red is what you're going to lean to. At least in my experience with most palettes, a cad red or something similar to it. So I think that this is Daniel Smith's alternative to a cadmium color, which I appreciate. On to the yellow. Oh, I love this color. If you haven't noticed, a lot of my videos include this very bright, mustardy-ish yellow, and that's because I just love that color. Now this Hansa Yellow Light is very lemony, uh, as you can tell just on the palette, and look how, look how bright that is. And that's like very creamy consistency there. Very nice. And the beautiful French Ultramarine, I'm gonna stick you on this side. Gorgeous. That color especially reactivates really well. Nice. And then the Phalo Blue. Even just grabbing the edge of this little pile here, you can see just how potent this color is. But it's very pretty and it can make some really vibrant green mixes. And even though it's annoying to work with sometimes, at least I find, um, it does give you some really nice, really nice mixes. So let's try a couple mixes real quick. So I want to try some really bright colors. I'm going to mix some of the phalo blue with some of this Hansa yellow light. And look at that. I'm going to stick that over here. I don't know if you can see that. Look how bright and really blue and pretty that green is. Let's try some purples. I kind of have an idea of what that one's going to look like. So if we take some Pyro Scarlet and some French Ultramarine and mix them together, you get this beautiful, warm, violety color, which is just lovely. I love using that for shadows. And then what happens if we mix the Quinacridone Rose? And I'm not very familiar with how this color reacts, so this will be, this will be fun. Ooh, and mix that with the Phalo Blue, you get this really nice, Lilac-y ish, dioxazine ish kind of purple. That's really nice. So I can see why uh, Daniel Smith would choose these colors. I think that's actually a really good choice for red. Now, typically, and in the way that I was taught color mixing and color theory, um, we actually used a 
don't spin. A alizarin crimson, which is a cool purpley red, but it is definitely on the warmer side compared to this. So if we mix this beautiful new gamboge with the French ultramarine, we get a beautiful There's a beautiful earthy green. Now if we mix some of this new gamboge with the quinacridone rose, we get a really, really warm, fiery red. Now this red mix, borderline orange, reminds me a lot of a cad red medium which I don't have to compare, but you can see how this is a lot warmer than this. But it's really interesting because this Pyrrole Scarlet mixes like a cadmium, but it's not quite a cadmium. But these two colors play wonderful games with each other because I like that tone for like a warm red. Very fun, very fun stuff. So if we mix, I don't know if I did this already. If we mix this mixture, the new gamboge and quinacridone rose with the phalo blue, which I think I overpowered it just a little bit. You get a lovely gray neutral, and that's just a three color mix. It's actually really nice, colorful gray. And if I mix That's interesting. So if you mix the quinacridone rose with the Hansa yellow light, you get a decently similar red tone, which is quite interesting considering how different those two yellows are. But it's really nice, a really nice color. Ooh, that's pretty too. I don't know if I mixed this already, I don't think I did. But if you mix the French Ultramarine with the Quinacridone Rose, you get this really nice violet. It's really nice purple. It reminds me a little bit of a cobalt purple almost, or cobalt violet. So there you go. Those are my first impressions and uh, first swatches of the Daniel Smith Essential Primary set. And you guys will see more of this set in um, some upcoming videos. I'm also preparing slowly, I don't know when it's going to be released, but I'm preparing slowly a watercolor basics course to start teaching, uh, which is something that I've been wanting to do for a long time and be able to do online now that we are all at a stay at home order or self quarantining and social distancing. So I think it's a great time to do that. So if you're interested in that, definitely continue to watch my videos and stay updated. I'll be posting a lot more on my Facebook page at Sydney B. Turner Art on Facebook and at Sydney B. Turner Art on Instagram. So again, thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next video.